What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Psycho Gaming here, and welcome back to another Friday to Freddy's VR video. Where today, uh, I'm going to try face cam today. I'm going to try that. So yeah, I'm going to try that. So hold up, let me just get it set. Okay, then minimize it. Oh freak! Don't pull it out of frame. Just Make it a little bit smaller, you know. So yeah, welcome to the Five Nights at Freddy's VR. You need some? I do. What's up? All right. Just knock, just knock if you need me, okay? Oh yeah. So welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's VR video. Um, where today we're going to be starting FNAF 2. Ah, yeah, I know. I haven't finished night 4 on FNAF 1. But, hey. I'm still working at it, still trying to beat it, and eventually I will beat it. But for now, I have not. But I will eventually. So, anyway, let us just get into this one i really hope this actually works because if it does not i'm going to be mad because i don't want it lagging especially while i'm doing it with face cam which you know stuff happens so. okay oh my gosh i'm way out of wacky okay Gotta sink to the cloud. If you guys can see that, okay, so let me minimize this. So yeah, we're just gonna queue up night one. Let's go. Wear a mask. Survive till 6 a.m. Okay, so it's just like that except we have to put a mask on and we have no doors. <clears throat> Uh, 
You're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the fire counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without a costume on and what you know, suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. Uh, but hey, you have life, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up, piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. That was not one pretty easy. Pretty Using proprietary technology developed by Fazbear Entertainment, our VR development teams were able to use vintage control boards almost like plug and play, digitally recreating performances and personalities from the past in an instant.
Okay, so night two, I'm guessing we have to worry about Foxy in that one. Night terror. I don't want to do night terrors yet. Night terrors, I'm gonna save them. Let's just go straight into night two, see if we can beat it this time. I was a little late on the mask. In the last one, in the last night, I was I was a little late on the mask, so I gotta get on my mask. Uh, I want to, I want to, uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older model sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea is parts them to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. They were just so ugly, you know, and the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around, but if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason it activates during the night, if you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always be disoriented with bright light. You would call the system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, why not try that on any room where something undesirable might be? You might hold it in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest. I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking. And it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think it's pretty mask will fool it. So just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Puppet, I'm busy right now, please. Just calm down on the music box, please. They press me hard. They press in me so hard. Freddy, please, toy Freddy. Please, 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 don't, don't hit me. Okay, I know you're a big dog, big bear, and I know you're a lion. So, please don't touch me. Okay, I'm gonna 
yeah, I don't want your drugs. Yeah, I don't want to do drugs. Drugs are bad kids. Don't do drugs. Don't put one boy over here, okay? Don't. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm not dead, right? I'm not dead, right? I'm not dead. <sighs> Too nice in one video. That has never happened before. I just ate a soda can, okay? That's awkward. He's going. Okay, that, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, we got Bonnie, so that's like extra hard. Okay, let's try that. We already unlocked boss and service Bonnie on this hard mode, so. Let's try it. Okay, just gotta pay attention really hard. Just pay attention really hard because I don't wanna die. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh, oh no, it looks mistake. like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. I can't Press the colored the button that corresponds to the incorrect I'm note. That's why it makes it harder. It's the second one. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you remove them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. Okay, I think I get started. Okay. Okay, we did the left eye first. Left eye goes there. Right eye goes there. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Okay, so we did that on hard mode, okay. I can't read it. The Foxy Cove Cooler. I'll just eat that, okay. Just eat it, okay. Man, that makes sense. This check was so much creepier in this mode, okay. Turn this mode off, I don't want to see him like that. Oh no. Never again. Never again, Uncle Glitchtrap. Out of here. Yeah.
So anyways, that, that's gonna end this episode of Five Nights at Freddy's VR. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.